Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoony Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2018 video and today I'm going to teach you how to attack like a pro against some superstar AI in the first match and legend AI in the second match. This also includes some tactical analysis so I'll be pausing the video and uh, putting some graphics on the screen to explain what I'm looking at and try and hopefully um, explain it to you better than my previous how to attack video. So I'm playing as Real Madrid against Barcelona and this is on Superstar AI. Um, now you'll notice that I play um, on, on this little setup here. On the left hand side of the pitch you can see all my players are quite tightly marked. So the first thing I'm looking at is on the, uh, the mini map you can see Bale on the far right wing and that's exactly where I'm going to play this ball now. So you need to have like an open mind and also keep concentrating on your mini map to allow you to uh, spread the play when necessary. Um, so a little cut in there by Bale and I'm just trying to pull it back. Um, I think that was Ronaldo. Oh no, this is Isco, sorry. Um, so I was just trying to pull it back to him. Quick thinking and quick control, Peter. That creates a, a little more working space. Okay, so here you can just see, I'm just waiting for the, uh, the right opportune moment to, to get the strike in. Now here, what, what I'm slowing it down for is because the shot wasn't on, so I had to try and shift it, and then, then I was going to hit it. Um, and that's why I slowed this down, just to show you that. Um, because, the, you know, if I took the shot on straight away, it would have hit the defender. So sometimes you need to shift the ball uh, just to the left or to the right of the defender before striking it. Um, to get a better shot in. There's no point shooting for the sake of shooting. You've got to wait for the most opportune moment, moment and uh, you're going to see that in this uh, in this game, these gameplay clips anyway. So this is actually a full game um, and uh, I won't tell you the scoreline but there's quite a lot of goals in this game. Um, some mistakes by the AI. <laughs> Some good play. So here what's going to happen is Ronaldo is going to make a fantastic run. Now what you're looking at here, this green area, is the real key. Once you're in this area, you've between their defence and their midfield, if you're in that little zone, you can cause loads of problems. Now what you're going to see is Ronaldo is going to bend his run, drag the defender away, create a little bit of gap between the defenders, and then Bale's going to do his thing. Okay, so... Running across the line like this causes a lot of problems for the defence and as you can see there, like I said, they've cut the defence apart because because of Ronaldo's run. I could have maybe passed it through to him there, but it, he's created that little five yard gap and when, whenever you run across the defence like that, that's what's causing all the problems. So it's, it's very difficult to defend online and offline, so that works. Uh, that works in both both instances. And a, and a lovely finish by uh, Gareth Bale there, top corner. Rakitic plays it out to the flank. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in one area, just on the attack, I'm just what I'm doing is I'm playing a very aggressive game. I'm just trying to get the ball back as quickly as possible. And uh, in this game, you're going to see me play far more direct uh, with Real Madrid because you got to play it to their strength. It's all about player ID. Um, there's a nice little finish from Ronaldo. But yeah, it's all about um, player ID. So you, you've got to play the player how you're playing in your life because that's when you're going to get the most out of your players. So with Bale, be really direct. You know, just go at the defence. Use his, use his pace. Use Ronaldo's aerial power, you know, and his, and his pace as well. Um, and his shooting ability. Well, that second goal has given them... So much more you know, Modric is is a good little runner with the ball. Um, so you can see here, this is what I'm looking at, okay? So I'm looking at Benzema. You've got to have your eyes open the whole time when you're playing Pez. Um, because there's little, you know, little things going on the pitch you might not notice if you haven't got your eyes open. If you're just staring at the ball, player with the ball, watching about who's going to be closing you down, you're not going to see the whole picture. So I can see that, you know, I've got Iniesta closing me down, Suarez closing me down. And now I just need to get it across the Benzema somehow. And that's what I'm exactly what I'm going to look for now. So here you go. Just dot around the pitch. And there. Bang. 
I always wanted him, but there's nothing on, so just play it back. Don't don't just hoof it into the box. <clears throat> Keep passing until the opportunity arrives. See, nothing was on. This time, I drove into the space, and the hit right here, what I'm going to show you is um, this is a perfect position. Now, most people just drill it across, or might do a cross in, into the six-yard box, but there's no one there. So you need to think where is where are your players, and then you can see there it's just behind um, MTT, and and that's where I'm going to try and drive the ball into that into that space because you can see Benzema running towards Bale, and that's uh, that's who I want to hit, and luckily I did. Um, so when you do when you do drive that ball across the across the ground. Um, Make sure you aim with the left analog stick where you want the ball to go. So yeah, well, nice. Uh, so it's three 0 already. It's only the twenty-first minute. Like I said, there's a heap of goals in this game. So <laughs> now this, now this is interesting. You, you gotta see that me rewind this. But what I'm doing is teasing him into playing that pass. See, so see me walk, run away, and then go back. Okay, so you might want to look at that again, like rewind it and look at it again, but. I'm, I cut the passing lane out, then I move away, and then I cut passing lane out again. And that's just to try and tempt and tease the, uh, the opposition to play that pass. So once again, just keep passing the ball, keep passing the ball. You might think it's passing for passing sake, but it's not. You keep passing and then wait for the opportunity to arise. There you go. He's in space. Beautiful. Unfortunately, when I had play, and. Uh, I was pretty angry with myself right there, <laughs> so I was in a really good, really good position. Um, error by the defender there, just sloppy. I've got Gagan press on, um, but I uh, I do turn it off every now and again just to conserve the defender, uh, to conserve the stamina. Um, once again, intercepted. Just try to feed it through to Ronaldo there. Um, once again, I should have perhaps just kept driving along in that diagonal fashion across the box and waited for the chance to present itself a bit more clearly. So here, it's, it's all getting a bit tight, and there you go. I was uh, I was trying to overplay, you know, trying to force it. You want to just, you know, you don't want to you don't want to be forcing it. You want to be just keep it simple again it's this looks a bit forced to me so um i should have you know been a bit more patient with the ball i tried to do a high high lob here just into ronaldo because i thought he's up against Jordi alba <laughs> he can head it down or chest it down but no um unfortunately not quite did nicely here that time they uh, they blocked the uh, the cross, and you will notice that the AI learns your attack patterns. So if you keep attacking through the middle, they'll bolster the middle. And if you keep attacking down the wings, they'll double up on the wings. So and Bale again. Absolutely skimming. This time I didn't do a drilled cross, and the reason for that there is because if I was to drill the cross in that would get hit the defender first so I actually played a through ball so it would be a, bit, a little bit slower it gives my striker a chance to get in on the end of it and he does he just gets in there before um, before the defender so that was smart play sometimes you got to weigh up the fact the options and say would the drill cross be too powerful because they would have just hit the defender because he was in front of my he was in front of Benzema at the time. They're on the attack here, but once again, it's it's so direct with uh, Real Madrid, and you're going to see the difference when you see me play as Barcelona in the uh, in the second game. Uh, and that's on legendary, uh, much much harder game, but um, <laughs> very very uh, very enjoyable both games. And you'll probably notice that I go backwards to go forwards quite a lot as well. Um, less so probably Real Madrid. Real Madrid is all about getting up to the wings, but 
See, backwards to go forwards. It's a nice little bit of play. Uh, you can see there, once again, I tried to shift it. Better, a bit like earlier in, my, uh, in the video. And uh, yeah, I didn't, manage to, didn't quite manage to shift it enough in order to get the shot off. So it was a bit too, bit too heavy on the touch. So you can see here, I'm just happy for them to have possession here. Let them come on to me. I've got counter attack. And this is a successful dive by, uh, <laughs> I think that's by Dembele. Yeah, this is terrible. You watch this for a dive. This is 100% dive. There you go. And he actually bought it. It does work, but it's, it's very rare. If you want me to teach you how to dive, I can do that. But to be honest, it's not worth doing because you'll just get loads of players get, getting them yellow cards and, uh, and possibly even sent off. And <laughs> I managed to save the penalty, so a bit of justice there from, uh, from Lionel Messi. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Modric. I know it came up with uh, saved a penalty. Um, it's not the first time I've saved a penalty. It's, it's just because I'm playing on PC for the, well, probably about the third or fourth time. I normally play on the PS4 if you uh, if you watch my streams. Once again, keep the ball. Ping it around quite quickly because uh, the way Bars are defending. And once again, exposed on the wing. Oh, almost. So that time... Uh, there's no one to pull back to, so it's just a case yeah, of uh, like drill it into the box. Um, but unfortunately, a defender, a defender got there first. And once again, look at the mini map. You know, he was off the, he was clearly out of sight. But I was always looking at the mini map. So you've got to use your mini map as well to know where players are. He's he's in a really good position there. Should have made drove a bit closer and then went for the chip, but. Um, I was sort of being forced by uh, Simido there, the right back. It's corner mastery. One out for a, throw in. a little bit too close to the goalie. And this is a nice little bit of play. So basically what I do is when I pass, I hold the player select button so they make a run, especially when they're in the box. And that's what you're going to see here. So Ronaldo's going to take a shot. And I, maybe I could have threw you know, put Bell through with a through ball, but I just decided to take the shot, go back across the goalie, but he makes a fantastic save, but Bale, because I set him on a run, is following it in, and it's an easy tap in, but nice little bit of tick attack around the box, in and around the box, um, off that throw. It's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, when they're all in the right places, it just flows so nicely, um, and luckily they were. If you wonder what formation I'm using, it's the, um, the formation I did recently with Real Madrid. Um, so it's nothing, it's nothing special. It's just, uh, it just, it's just one of my favourite formations where uh, the right back tucks in to a centre back. So you have, uh, you know, and Marcello also doubles up as a winger, as you can see here. So what you're seeing here is, um, this is why width is so important, because you're seeing those three defenders, they're the three defenders at the top of the screen, um, you know, all running backwards, and there's a massive gap between Semedo and PK, and I'm going to exploit that with Marcello. So Marcello is going to make that, that run. I'm actually going to hold the ball up to make it even more potent, because then Semedo has no chance of getting back. Um, and look at all the attackers um, charging into the box. So here, hold it up. That completely takes the media out of the game. And then it's a great cross. And Bale running onto it. Is, and TT has no chance. But here you go from this angle. You can see, look at that gap. And that's all caused by the width. If that width isn't there, those defenders are all closer together. So that's why, it's, that's why I say it's important to have wingers. Even if you want to go through the, through the middle of a team, especially. Don't just pile everyone through the middle because it makes it so easy to stop and stifle. So a very quick one touch passing there. Every touch is, every time I'm passing, you notice I'm holding the, uh, the player select button. So that means uh, they make a run. So 
here you go they're still running forward i'm just going to play that little through ball there and keep an eye on bale the way he runs into the box once again cutting in i'm just going to play that play that ball where that red arrow is into those uh into ronaldo oh, and let's go let's go picks it up into ronaldo ronaldo gets the shot off deflected but bale's like i said following up and uh it's a nice bit of quick play they just can't live with that it's just too it's just too much too quick too fast for the eye to deal with so seven nil up it's, it's only the 67th minute <laughs> can only you guess what the uh score line is going to be um so another good cross there and oh brilliant and, a, and a, what a save by to Stegen. absolutely incredible was again get it to bell a little bit of skill this time cuts inside just a nice little floated cross just tried to loop it over the goalie um, perhaps I should have went near post in hindsight but here comes my uh, corner mastery technique for the second time and bang <laughs> It wasn't actually me who scored it. It was actually the defender touched it in, but um, it's absolutely lethal. And I recommend you uh, check my corner mastery technique out. It's definitely worthwhile. Um, people say, you know, people complain about that because I didn't score, but it doesn't matter about scoring. It's about hitting your target. And I hit the, the man nine times out of ten. And there's a... This, yeah, like I said in the, in the text now, it ha this happens so much, and especially on legend difficulty, where the computer passes the back to the eye, but the, the, the way I was pressing, the way I cut at the pass, he had nowhere to go. He literally had nowhere to go. Um, I guess where he was going to go, and he sort of froze, and that happens so often. So often now since the patch. You can see here, working the ball nicely. Perhaps a bit hasty with that pass. It wasn't really on. It's a bit forced. Um, I was getting excited here, I think, because uh, I saw I was 9-0 up. I was thinking, cool, yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to get 10, 11, 12. <laughs> and uh, I think my most amount of goals in the game is 11-0. Um, so I really wanted to try and uh, beat that. I was in a really good position to do so. Lovely little bit of play here, all one touch stuff. And what you're going to see here is this is the little pocket of space I'm talking about. Once you get past there, their midfield, just do one twos in and around the box like this. Unfortunately, I did a lovely turn there, but I tapped sprint, which made it push the ball away from me. So I was, I was pretty angry with myself there because I could have created a really good opportunity. I did the turn, it was everything was going perfect. Um, until I tap the uh, tap the sprint button and it just push the ball too far ahead. It's a very good battle there. It's coming up to the end of the game, but Barcelona got other ideas. Trying to try and get a consolation goal, but managed to cut them cut them crazy and then. Like I said, I think I was getting too excited about getting the 10th goal, trying to force it too much. Should have just played how I was playing. Um, it's freedom. Gave away an unnecessary um, free kick away there. Trying to clear it. Trying to select Marcello to clear that as well, but it was just all too little too late. I couldn't get all of them quick enough to, to clear it away. So, uh, a bit of a blemish on the record there, so 9-1. Going at him again, once again, get on the wings, very, very direct. Um, really good tackle there. Yeah, once again, going backwards to go forward, that's really key in my play. The amount of times I go um, backwards to go forwards. And my keeper managed to just clear that away, but then he shoot and the keeper touches it away and... All got a bit crazy there um yeah so it's you know it's it's really important and getting in between the lines is really really key that between midfield and defense if you if you can find that little slot and run at their defense if you've got a striker with high attacking prowess 
he will make some really intelligent runs um, into their panic box. And then it's just about getting that timing right. But sometimes you, you you think, oh, I need to I need to pass now. But no, wait. Sometimes you just need to wait a little bit longer. The, the, the time will come when you just go, that's the time I need to pass. In this little clip here, this is from another another game I was playing. Um, this guy has the ball, and I'm just going to curl it in. And, and what you want to do is try to, um, you know, pull players onto smaller players. So that in this example, you've got Benzema pulling onto Jordi Alba. I mean, he's got no chance of winning that that duel, has he? Um, poor old Jordi Alba. But you can see from this position, just cut in. This is a very effective move as well in the game. That diagonal ball to the far post. Um, it was a great save. So now I'm going to be playing as Barcelona. You're probably going to notice a, a complete change in style. So, you know, Real Madrid, very direct. In this, you're going to see a lot of one touch passing in and around the box. You should have scored that and mistimed the header. So with Pez, if you're new to Pez, you actually need to time your headers uh, accordingly. It's not like Fifi, you just press the shoot button and it sort of does the best header for you. Um, in Pez, you do have to actually time it. So you do need, to, uh, do need to have a bit of skill and a bit of timing. Unfortunately, mine was off from that cross. You can see that I got PK and just pulled him up just to push the other, the other players offside. Um, as you can see here, I'm playing against Legendary, so they're just doing all sorts against me. Uh, <laughs> but luckily, um, very charitable with the uh, that finish. You can see them diving in, making it very, very difficult for me. Good tackle by PK. You can see I'm just going to knock it around very, very quickly. This is the key with um, Legend. Legend difficulty. The idea is to keep passing the ball pretty pretty swiftly um, and then they gave a free kick away quite a distance out to be honest I thought oh shall I have a go I thought oh, well it's, might as well have a have a try I guess <laughs> oh, what a goal <laughs> might as well have a try and I <laughs> unbelievable and there is one heck of a goal in this um, in this game that is just mind blowing. Should have uh, happened a little bit later. <laughs> Scored my first free kick on PC. Scored a heap on uh, on the PS4. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty adept at free kicks, penalties. Good bit of defending there. Super cancel with Jordi Alba just to take it back inside their striker because uh, it takes his momentum away. You can see here it's it's a lot more patient, lots more patient. I was a bit silly there, just messing around, but um, with Messi, but doing a bit of unnecessary skill. Don't normally hoof it into the box like that, but um, sometimes things can things can happen, but not often. It's usually best to pass it short. See, I'm working into the channels there. Opens up, just about the curl shot in, but they managed to get a tackle in. Unsurprisingly, it's being legendary. <laughs> they are uh, a lot quicker to the ball. Everything's a lot slicker. Get in. And that's a really good finish by Bale. Or was it strong enough with Jordi Alba there? He just sort of held him off. This is a uh, say cheat goal coming up. So you do a one-two, and it must go back to the player with no lofted pass like that. And then you need the timing perfect, perfect to perfection basically, where the defensive midfielder who's tracking Suarez, you see him there, crosses over the line with the central defenders. And as soon as that, if you get that time right, he'll the defensive midfielder will stop and leave it to the two central defenders to deal with in this instance they just don't react in time and that's uh <laughs> i say it's a cheat goal but it's, it's very very hard to pull off i couldn't believe i did it to be honest 
He's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Haven't done it in a while. <laughs> That's a lovely pass. Forward, goal. Once again, just trying to force it. So, wants to get the ball back. Got plenty of players here. Now you see that little pause there with Rakitic. I'm just going to go rewind that back and. Uh, this little pause here, it's it's on purpose. Look, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. He's out of the he's out of the picture now. That allows me to do that one too. See him coming back? See, if I didn't wait, he would have intercepted that. So again, once it, it's all very tight, very, very quick, one touch. Unfortunately, Iniesta took a bad touch there. So I had to do a fake shot to go around him. Around that defender. There you go, he bought that. And then I should have played it into Suarez there, um, just to the right, but like I say, and unfortunately it was off uh, offside, so. But you can just see that I'm, I'm, the way the way the, the play contrasts, I'm, you know, you adapt your style to the players you've got, you know, so I'm, I'm a bit less direct, well, quite a lot less direct than I was with Real Madrid. Real Madrid was get it to Bale, get it to Ronaldo, get it to Benzema, go at the defenders. Um, if nothing's on, then then pass back. But with Barcelona, it's more um, get it around the edge of the penalty box. I've got three players there. Cycle the ball around. And, uh, and yeah, just... Uh, Try and um, try and create chances. Looks like a good ball through. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Iniesta. And it's Luis Suarez. Isco goes looking. Like say, Gens legendary. Oh, it's a really poor decision by me. <laughs> I went in goal just to try and save it, but um, unfortunately couldn't. Um, yeah, like I said, it was a bit of a defensive howler from you, myself there. Quite a thriller this one's become. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be. So just keeping the ball, rotating it, play, playing it safe, getting up and around the box. Like I said, go backwards to go forwards, backwards to go forwards. And then the the gap opened, and now the goalie momentum is going to his right, and my player is going off to that diagonal, and then I put it in the bottom, the other bottom corner. That works so well. So you just you're putting it the opposite way. The goalie's moving. So you watch the goalie, it's moving, it's moving, moving, then striking to the other corner. Makes it very very hard for him to save. But in that in that instance of play, um, it was just passing, and then the chance opened up. My eyes lit up, and it was like, right, get it through to Suarez. He's wide open. In this situation decided to drive into the box. Had Dembele, good, good. He's very good at skills. So that's why I tried to tried to um, drive into the box. Sorted that out. Henders on the back foot. PK. And it's Luis Suarez. Dembele going through. Nice little way of play there. And then, as you can see here, I've, you've, when you're playing into the penalty box, you've got to assess the situation so quickly. Um, the only option I've got there is Messi. Um, a lot of people pro will probably panic and try and do a shot or a back heel. But honestly, playing that extra pass sometimes really does work. And unfortunately, I was shot straight at the goalie. I should have scored that, really. That was uh, a really easy chance. But I think the defender got a block on it. So there we go. 61% possession. 11 shots, 9 on target. So playing shots just... Just being a bit wasteful, to be honest. It should be five or six, I would say. Um, but like I said, I've been, been quite wasteful. <coughs> you got to remember, 
legendary. You know, they they're gonna they're actually gonna um, you know perform tackles that you just wouldn't ever see, <laughs> or no human could pull it off. I don't think anyway. Um, some of the tackles they do, or I've seen. So once again, just keep the ball. Keep it simple. You know, here you go, just run down the wing. I've got nothing in the box. Bring it back. Nothing really on. Nothing really on still. Wasted pass. I should have went backwards. Let's say go backwards to go forwards. And this is sublime. Look at this, ladies and gents. Oh my word. <laughs> what a goal that is. What a goal. Didn't really have a lot on. I played, played it into um, Sergio Roberto. Little flick into Suarez. He just does a flick. Flicks it again over his head. Chests it away from Marcello. And smashes it in the yeah, post. I love this view, what you're going to see here. Because then you're going to see the whole, the whole piece. Doesn't touch the floor after he's seen that first touch. Touch, 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 bang. That is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Sometimes you're in little cold of sacks like that and you just got to try and improvise. That's what I did and what a goal that is. I think they should be really positive about this now, Peter. Messi. Oh, that is lovely Sometimes you got nothing on. Take a shot, you know. Options weren't really on. Suarez made a good run there. I could have played it through maybe. Run the risk of going offside, so I used the defender to sort of screen the goalie's vision and then try to curl it into the top corner, but unfortunately it was uh It was just off target. Unlike Messi. That was really poor defending. As soon as the um, that that was good <laughs> to get back in, um, and cover. But he's played the ball backwards, and I should have followed him. I got sucked into the the pass going backwards. Always track the runner. I will do another video on how to defend if anyone's interested. <laughs> Although I got unfortunate. That was a brilliant goal from Modric. Um, That's wonderful. It was just pinging around in my box. Oh, you've got to love that. Um, concentration, conviction. Once again, you know, just class. nice little bit of skill there. Use the use the players' abilities to the uh, to get the most out of them. You know, you've got someone like Messi. Try a little dribbling run. Sometimes things aren't working out. Just try something a bit different. Forward it goes. Tony Cross. Now it's Bale. And it's Isco. Isco plays it long. Mm, oh, well, just managed to get that back in time. A little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Oh, great tackle. Spot on, Peter. Wide to the right. I got lucky here. <laughs> I got really lucky. Not only did he, did I uh, manage to palm it up in the air, but managed to get the the second second chance at it to to grab it. Just a bit of basic speed down the wing here. Nice little bit of skill to cut inside, drive inside that secondary defender, then just drive it into the box. That time was really fortunate. That defender should have perhaps intercepted that. I was surprised that he didn't. But right there, he's covering him, but he's sort of gone to sleep. He sort of turned his back on it at the at the worst possible moment. There you go. He's turned his turned his back on Suarez and doesn't know he's there. And bang, five three. And that's it, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching. I do apologise. I had to cut that video short, um, but I hope you found this uh, this video overall uh, interesting and actually actually useful. Um, and there we go, how to attack like a pro.